What's happening, guys? Just wanted to say good evening to everybody. Hey, Catherine, how we doing? You see what's up on that counter? So fast and easy to make. Real simple. We're gonna have a little fun tonight. We're gonna make some mugs and we're gonna check it out. Hey, Richard, what's happening out in Louisiana? So easy and fast to make, guys. It's gonna make your head spins tonight. I'm gonna put up the product link for what we're making. Kim, what's happening? I'm glad you made it. Jason, what's good, buddy? Everybody all right out there? That's what I like to hear. Getting ready, gearing up. There's only a few Mondays left. Putting up the link for the products we're going to be using tonight, like we always do, right over there. And make it real easy. I'm going to just pop that up. Got it. That's all up for you guys. Okay, that should be good. Okay, we got a good view. Everybody there? Uh-oh. Did I get the dance? <clears throat> Nice, Catherine. Very nice. Yo, Peter, what's happening out in Long Island? My man Adam. Where you at, Adam? Where you at? Look, I got a whole little crew going on here tonight, huh? Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hey, Connie. What's happening? Again, we're going to be doing mugs tonight. Beer signs. Going to put up the product link for you. I'll make it real easy before we start. And there we go, there's our product link. Good evening, guys. What's happening? Hope everybody's well. Getting ready. I put the product link up for the four beer mugs we're going to be making. Hello in Canada. Thank you for joining us in Canada. That's right. You know the party's here when Bulls got here. Hey, baby. How we doing, Sue? Hope all is well. Say what's up to John. Thank you. Thanks, Emily. I hope everybody's well out there in sublimation world. Uh, tonight we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be making some beer steins, beer mugs, uh, clear glass, ceramic with porcelain in it. Remember that keyword, porcelain. Frosted glass and glass with a white patch. Very fast and easy to make. Good evening, Pat. Hugs and kisses back at you, Sue. Um, I flashed around the pictures. Oh, I got what you want, baby. Trust me. I got what all of you need. This is the Sublimation 101 6-in-1 mug press. It's got the, hey, Gabriel, how are you? It's got the dual pressure control. Compared to a lot of other ones that have only a single, this has a dual. And the reason we recommend a dual controller is because a lot of our newer style drinkware is tapered the eco mugs the pint glasses the latte mugs and of course it got the shot glass attachment which are tapered and very simple and easy to make guys i did put up some finished product for you to take a look at we're gonna do a couple of mugs tonight this one right here in particular we use, it's ceramic and it has porcelain in it. You have to bake that a little extra. So I want you to keep track of everything tonight. So in other words, let's go this way for you and make it easier. There we go. We're gonna start right with our glass mugs right here on the end. I got two machines up ready to go. So what I'm gonna do here is to set the Sublimation 101 mug press. I'm simply gonna push the mode button once for 350. 
the second time for 380. Right now it is set for 60 seconds, which is set for ceramic. But because we are making glass, I'm going to set it to 30. Push the mode button again and let the machine heat up. Very simple and easy to use. I'm going to repeat step number one and step number two onto my other press. And those are done. Those My presses are all heating up, ready to go. And we're going to shoot over. Tonight we're, we're in the... For those of you that are new, this is the Mug Press Vacuum Press Training Center at sublimation101.com in Branchburg, New Jersey. You come in, you have access to use everything. We've got a nice, beautiful display for you. You can check out, and there's you and me watching each other. You sit back on the big monitor, and you just watch how we do everything in sublimation. We have the largest training facility in the industry, guys. We know that already. No other company out there has a training facility like this for you. This is open for you anytime, any day. You don't need an open house to come to the house. And I just wanted to give you that brief little tour to my newbies of the Sublimation 101 Training Center. Uh, I want to congratulate my buddy Bulls out there. Where is Bulls, how fast did you get that printer, my friend? You ordered that printer from sublimation101.com at about 4 o'clock yesterday. And what time did it arrive to you this morning, brother? Just need to know. Because I know my phone was ringing at not, yeah, about a quarter to 9 and you were excited. Mike Pippet, what's up? Uh, no problem, Mike. You don't got to thank me. Come on, buddy. You know that. Uh, hi, Patricia. How are you? You coming Saturday? This Saturday? Butchie, you can have the warehouse. It's yours. 8.30, Bulls! Bam, bam, bam! 8.30, his stuff was there. Oh, Bulls, thank you so much. You know how to make a brother feel good, let me tell you. So tonight, guys, we're going to be using our SG400. And congratulations, Bulls, upgraded from a C88. He is now a full-fledged sawgrass sublimator. Bulls, and everybody, my tray... Adjust. This is for eight and a half by 14. You see these two little clips? That is the main part. One, two. Oh, it dropped down, bowls. Now it's back to an eight and a half by 11 size. My mug size paper is going to go white side down in the tray. Done. Ready to go. Mug size paper in the machine. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Patricia. Thanks, Bulls. So, guys, let's get started with a little sublimation tonight. Let me um, just set up over here. I am solo tonight. Okay, so I'm going to launch Creative Studio. I want to get you the best possible view. So I'm going to bring this around. Coming to you live from the Mug Press Training Center. Those of you that have been here and have no, know what this is all about. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a nice view right there. Does that look good to everybody? Can I use a regular dish? I don't understand the question, Cynthia. Now guys, I'm gonna get started, so can we hold the questions for a few minutes? Okay, if you don't mind, we're gonna hold the questions for a few minutes, I am solo tonight. What's up, baby girl? And I'm gonna get started here, okay? So. Tonight's first drinkable we're going to be doing is the 20 ounce glass sublimatable beer stein. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the circumference and my height area to work with. So I'm going to spin you back around for a minute. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to check my area knowing. I could probably fit about a seven and a half inch round image on here. And my height max to be comfortable is about three inches, okay? Mr. Soldat out in, out in the Bahamas, I am honored. I am honored in the Bahamas. I'm freezing in a sweatshirt and you're, you're in a, a Tommy Bahama shirt. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Soldat. Happy holidays to Robin and the family, everybody out in the Bahamas, my friend. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jason. So let's get started. We're gonna hold the questions off for a little bit. We already did, I got my little cheat sheet here. And I said seven inches high by, seven inches round by three inches. So with that being said, I'm gonna launch Creative Studio Designer, okay? And once that is launched, I'm simply gonna to go to my mug paper, okay? So when I go to my mug paper, I go to products, I'm gonna find that three by nine mug paper right inside of here, which is right here. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna get my grid with inches. I am the artist and there is my canvas. I'm simply gonna grab a design, an image, a logo, There we go. You can change anything you want. I typed in dad in Creative Studio and it already came up with a cheers to the best dad. Select all. I'm gonna shrink it down to size. Remember when you move it, you always have to click select all. So I have my pretty much my area right about there. I said about three inches high. So there it is right there. And you could simply do that. And then you could put the gentleman's name, the dad's name. I'm gonna use my dad. And I'm gonna put my dad's name right there. And then when I go to, so, oops, excuse me. I wanna change that font. So when I change that font, I'm gonna to go to object and I'm gonna to go to text font and I'm simply gonna scroll through the different categories on the left, which is gonna show me the fonts on the right. Now, if you pick a particular font, remember, you have to write it down because if you're doing multiple text, you want to always make sure because it does not fall back, as you see, to my font that I selected. I'm just trying to find a nice bold font here, something Okay, and that would be my dad. That would be my image. Notice down here at the bottom, guys, I can change the colors of anything I want. So if I wanted to pull that black and maybe make it a light color, I would just hit apply and there it is. You see how fast that changed? It was so easy and simple. And if I click right over here, and I go back to the black, there it is right there. So the opportunity to change the coloring and so forth is the best. And that's what's gonna make it easy to produce. Now, if I go to select all, I'm at seven and about 0.4 inches by 3.09, which is perfect size because I originally said I wanted a seven by three to go around. So that's pretty nice spacing I got there. I'm gonna hit print and once I hit print, I'm gonna go okay, and I'm simply gonna follow the path, guys. You hear the mug presses beeping in the background. The reason you hear the mug presses at Sublimation 101 beeping, guys, that is for CE certification. A mug press has to alert you when it's on and alert you just for insurance purpose. Ceramic glass, text print art, auto trace select, high quality mirror image, my color is a graphic, and I'm gonna hit print. Hi, Roxanne, how are you? Bill White, happy holidays. How have you been, stranger? I hope all is well in Hackensack, New Jersey, my friend. Miss seeing you and hearing from you, but it was nice to see you in Secaucus. What do you mean, how do you get your colors in there, Bulls? I can answer a question before we start, Bulls. What do you got? Wait, I'll tell you what I got. Look who's here. Uh-oh, hello. Look who came to join me. Yes, we do. We were all beginners at one time, Katie. So I'm gonna proceed with the mug, guys. Super. 
Okay? Gonna come on over. I hope everybody's well. We're gonna hold our questions for a minute, please. Now, I'm gonna show you a little trick here. Here's my mug press. Now, I'm gonna fold my transfer right in half and pinch the top. That would be my center point, right there. Very simple. But what makes it easier when doing this particular beer stein, guys, I'm gonna grab two pieces of heat tape. You're gonna love this part. This is pretty funny. Well, it's not funny. It's kind of, um, it's a noticeable thing. I think we all worry about what it is instead of worrying about how we can use it. So I'm just gonna put two pieces of heat tape on. I'm gonna swing this back a little so you can see me better when I do it. I'm simply gonna take that and I'm gonna line it up like so. <clears throat> there is a center seam right here on the mug. I'm simply gonna line it up right here to go inside of my center seam and I'm gonna wrap it right into the designated area like so. Using the mug size paper, if I focus on the top, I know my bottom is gonna be straight because the paper came right out of the box straight and ready to go. So that's gonna be done. And that's ready. Simple, fast, easy, taped, right on. I'm gonna insert it right into my mug press, which was set for 350 degrees with a 380 degree transfer temperature for 30 seconds. Because it's a larger circumference, I'm gonna back off my pressure a little here, as you see. I'm not worried about the mug inside. Everything is fine. The image is taped right into place, guys, so you're not gonna have an issue. Close it down, push the start button, the beeping will stop. What's gonna happen is it's gonna go up to 380 degrees and then it's gonna do its 30 second countdown. Very simple, it's all automatic. No bulls, you cannot change the colors around that way. I'm sorry, my friend. I understand what you want to do. As we're going along right now, <clears throat> the next mug we're going to hit up is a frosted beer mug image. That is the mug size paper, three and a half by nine. I will put a paper link up for you for a minute. We are an authorized beaver paper dealer. Uh, I'm going to put some links up right now for you. Excuse me. Here's the link for all the beer steins that we're making this evening, guys. There's your link for your beer steins. And I'm going to put a link up for the paper right now for you. Our mug is done, guys. Already ready to go. Let's go over to our mug press. Now remember, this is gonna come out burning hot, the glass. I'm gonna push the stop button. Feels nice and hot in there. My biggest fear is I took the mug out of the warehouse and that the mug is a little cold right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it back in there for an additional 30 seconds, guys, because the mug came out of the warehouse and the mug is cold. I remember we were talking about that storage of the product. My, I just pulled the mugs out and basically the mug was very cold inside of there. So I'm gonna hit copy here, guys, real quick. And I'm gonna put up paper link for you. And there's your paper link. Got it. So we got our mug bacon, nice. <clears throat> Let's go design another image while that's cooking. Object delete. Let's go to image for a frosted beer mug, maybe something for the holiday we can shoot for. Holidays, Christmas, 
And let's see what we can come up with. Sure we can find something for that mug. Wow, it's really expanding there. Okay, that should be just about finished now. I'm gonna come on over here. I'm gonna open up our mug press. Our mug is extremely hot. Remember when I tell you to scratch it? Always scratch on the paper. And you're gonna peel it right off. And there is your cheers to dad. May he rest in peace, who I miss so much. Perfect color, ready to go. Look how rich my black came out. And of course, when you put the liquid in and the beer head, it's gonna show the color much better. So to give you a better precision of that color that's really on there when they put the beer in with the foamy head, I'm gonna drop a little white piece of paper in to show you. And there it is. Cheers to dad. And I got his name right on the other side. Very simple and easy to make. What's up, Big Mac? Scotty's not here. He left for the evening, guys. So let's go to a ceramic mug right now. And let's pull out an image. Let me go over here to holidays. And let's go to Christmas. Okay, we were in this one. So let's go over to designs and see if we find something a little nicer. Thank you, Connie. I appreciate that. Thank you. It was. It was very hard to make also. Thank you, Connie. Okay. We could do a Merry Christmas Seasons Greetings. Select all. Shrink it down a little. Let's get our sizing. That's a little large right now. So I'm going to go about seven inches in my height, in my width. And in my height, I'm probably going to pull it down to about three and a quarter. Right about there. Now, being that this image is in Creative Studio, guys, I'm going to move it over here for you. You get a better view of what I'm doing. There we go. So instead of Merry Christmas, if I took the Merry and I highlighted it blue like that, and I put seasons and I hit OK. And I took the Christmas off and I put the word greetings. Whoops. Gotta love spell check. Seasons, greetings, and happy new year. See how fast I changed that in Creative Studio? That's done. Now, what's cool is I can change the color right here of my font. So if I wanted to make it a Christmas green to add some color into it, I would just click it and pick the color I want, like so. Now this happy looks like it could be a, a little larger and legible, so I'll raise that up a little. And you see how it's just hitting on my New Year's? So I'm just gonna move it a little just to get everything looking better. I don't, I don't want that happy hitting the New Year's. So I'm just gonna move that in a little. And there we go. Select all, object, align horizontally and align vertically. We're gonna send that right over to our sublimation printer. And if you wanna add something, you can add your banner, your logo. So if I was to add my banner in and give this to clients or if I was selling it to a client to give to their clients, of course they would want their logo in it because Everybody can have a beer mug that says Season's Greetings, but the question is, is who it's from. And that's what makes it more presentable to your customer. They're saying, hey, I can do this, this, and this, and we could put your logo in it. So your customers are, whoops, undo, there we go, are very happy. There we go. And now I got my logo in it. It's not overwhelming. 
It's, you could position it really anywhere you want. Probably look better down there. I'm gonna hit print, I'm gonna hit okay. Click here to print. And once that comes out, ceramic glass, text print R, auto tray select, high quality mirror image. My color is a graphic and I simply hit print. That's all we have to do with our mug size paper. Oh, no problem, Dwayne. We got another one coming. I hope everybody out in uh, social media land is aware of what Dwayne is talking about. This is the last one of the year, guys. We love when the house is open. We love when you all come in. Whoops. So since you like our page, and I don't know how many of you navigate our page or just come to catch us live, but if you go to the video section, it'll show you all of our videos on the how-tos right here. If you go to the events section, it'll tell you what events and what's going on at our company and with our company. And that's the next event right there, guys. The holiday workshop. To those of you that have never to those of you that have never been here, it's so worth the trip. To those of you that it might be an expense, it'll be one thing you'll never regret, I promise you. You ask anybody and everybody that's ever been here with us. I'm going to put the, the camera down for you guys. Whoops. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Got it. This is true, Lisa. Cross the boss. What's happening? I folded it again. I pinched my top right here for my center point. I'm going to go get one of our frosted beer steins out. Like so. I'm going to grab two pieces of heat tape right on the machine. And I'm simply going to tape that like so on each end. Remember, you never want to cover any of the ink with tape, okay? I'm simply going to take out my, my frosted beer stein. I'm going to wrap it right around like so with my center point. I'm going to check my mug press right here like so. I'm going to tighten up my pressure knobs. Giving me nice, tight, even pressure. Nice and secure. I'm going to close it down and I'm going to push the start button while that cooks. My dad mug is right here. Came out really beautiful. I love it. I know it's a little hard to see. Let me get a fresh piece of white paper in there for you. Hey, cowboy, how are you? Oh, I can't wait to see you, Virginia. Yes, it will. Sharon, I would do the glass mug with that element for about three minutes, Sharon, for 400 degrees. Again, this one, I'm just going to pop that back in so you can get a better view for cheers to dad with his name on it. Now, if you notice, the glass mug was extremely cold. My temperature went from 350 down to 334 degrees. So we're gonna let that heat up. The next mug we got here is the patch mug. That white patch mug is on it. That would be me for my dad. It's a great idea any time of the year. 
putting the dad's name on it with uh, all the children's birthdays, as you can see. That would be me and my brothers right there. Um, you're welcome, Sharon. You're welcome, Laura. Thank you for mentioning it. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Okay, all questions, guys, we're going to do at the end of the show, okay? So we can proceed in making products. It would be great, okay? This way we don't lose focus. Our mug press is heating up. Okay? We're going to go back over now. And just so you know, you're at the Sublimation 101 Branchburg, New Jersey Vacuum Press Mug Press Training Center, where you, the end finisher, comes in and gets... White Patch Beer Stein, Jason. Fully trained. That's it. You got it, Jace. Thanks, brother. Great job tonight, Jason, as always, my brother. Jason, you and Bulls need to hook up when you come up here, please. So let's go over here, guys, and uh, let me just swing back. Here is all the paper. Just so you know, we are an authorized... Texprinar, Beaver Paper, distributor and agent. Always call if you're not sure about certain vendors because certain things aren't true, so be careful. Oh, that's finished, so we're going to shoot over there while that's going. Now remember, this particular mug we're using is a frosted mug, so it's not going to be a sheen to what everybody's used to. But when you peel this particular mug, do not scratch at the frosting when it comes out. It is soft. You will scratch the coating. See how easy I peeled it off? Look, I even got the little snow drifts in it. Like that one. Ah, I knew you'd dig it. I knew you'd dig it, guys. That's bad, isn't it? That's bad. I don't know what you guys are waiting for to get up here. Because that's what sublimation is all about. You're supposed to dance and be happy when you're done. Knowing the vendor is standing behind you. Here to work with you. I don't want to sound out of line. I didn't see nobody over Black Friday weekend except posting sales. Not posting how to make the stuff they're trying to sell you. That's right, Mike Morgan. <laughs> Got it going on like Donkey Kong tonight, bro. Uh, Kim, you should see me when I'm in a good mood. So guys, there it is. Let's zoom in on that puppy for you. Boom! Look at that. Look at that clarity. Look at that. What has he done now? Mark, I have one for you. Let's go. For all you've done for me, it's the least I can do. There we go. You want to talk about clarity? Look at my logo in the middle. Hold on. How's that? How's that for clarity? That's correct, Kim. Oh, Connie, I'll see you there. Uh, Butchie, that's funny you brought that up. 
That's funny, because when I go to the senior center, see my mom, I go, come on, baby, let's bust our hip. Come on, baby, you're going to fall and break that hip. You like that, Butchie? I do that up on my mom's. All the old ladies love when I do that dance. And the old guys, I make them smile. Nope, standard mug press with a standard mug head. No, they will not, Kim. Kim? Here it is. There you go. How was that? Yes, the showroom is open. No problem, Kim. Triple A, baby. Triple A. That's what it's all about. Showroom is open Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, anytime for anybody. We love when you come to our events. If you have questions and answers, we love to help you out that way. Let's proceed to the next mug. Okay, next mug we're going to do the one I showed you that I did, if you remember, during Father's Day as a memorial to my dad. Such an easy design mug to make, guys. Right there. Yes, you can, Lexi. Yes, you can. If it's a standard mug press, Lexi, that the beer stein can go in vertical, absolutely. Horizontal, you're not going to be able to fit it. You'll be very close to the top, and you might lose some going towards the center. But on a horizontal mug press, absolutely. And if you need further questions, you can call me at the office and take pictures and send me the mug press you have. I have no problem with that. Um, This is our office for everybody, so they know. That would be our office number. You can call us anytime. Okay, I put that link up for you right there. Exactly, Connie. So, if you go something like this, Connie, now, this is pretty cool. You ready? Let's rock and roll. Let me put you back in your spot, guys, where you can see it better. I like this angle for you working in this room because you got such a clear view now of everything. Please hold all your questions. Now, if I go into products and I go into drinkware and bar accessories and I go to beer steins, there it is. Everything I'm making is right here in beer steins. There's my white patch. It's telling me right here I can pull that patch off on a small mug size piece of paper. There is my patch and there is where it goes. So the first thing I want to do basically is if you go to images, you got to put that frame. Remember, everything just like you're working in creative in um, Photoshop or anything, you basically are going to type the word frame into your search box instead of pulling your hair out. And it's going to pull up all the frames that you can put onto that mug and fit in. You can go holiday. I mean, this is all for you in Creative Studio. It's free to use. A lot of people don't search all this stuff. You guys forget about all this. This is all free. This is all free for you to use. So you could pick a frame, maybe for the holiday, uh, a little green frame going in. So what I would do here is I would bring my frame in, object, align horizontally and align vertically, but I don't want to get it to the edge edge. I want a little white showing. Because if he's going to try to go to that edge, it's going to be nearly impossible. So you do want a little white border going, just like that. That would be done. Then if I went into design and I typed in the word oval, let's see what pops up. Okay, that wouldn't be there, so let's go back here. 
We'll get out of design and let's go to image. Nothing we're doing is any different than I'm doing than you could be doing at home, guys, with Creative Studio. It's just using that utility search box to find everything you need. You're going to find an oval. Ah, look, a base. Look, look at all the ovals. So if you want to go with an oval outline frame, bring it in. Pop it in, object, align horizontally. There it is. If you want to change the colors because it's holiday, maybe you want to throw a little Corvette red around it, that's done. There it is. So now you're going to size up your frame to get inside. Once again, you're going to go object, align horizontally. Done. You're going to put your text in. So you're going to type in the word, the name, or whoever it is. And you're simply going to drag that in to fit into your box. You're going to go object. You're going to go text font. You're going to pick a font. Then you're going to size it. Then you're going to go object, align horizontally. You're going to go to the colors and maybe you still want to stick with that Corvette red on it. Just like that. Very easy and very simple to do so far. Next thing you're going to do is you're just going to put the dates in. You're going to put in, you could put in, well, first thing you're going to put in is the EST for established when you be, the person became a dad. So you'll go right over here with that. And you'll go to object and you're going to go to your text font. We're going to hit our font up. I'm not going to make that as big because we don't want to take it away. Object, align horizontally. There's my point. And now if I wanted to do the in a little green for the holiday, you can always move around and change it if you want it a little darker. Apply. And you can put the green in. So now you're just adding a little color to everything, guys. That's all you're doing. Or you can stick with the traditional red if you like, and then you can go object and you can go text outline. I always use a number three, and me personally, I would have to go with the gray to match the gray that's inside of the box there. So once that is done, we're simply gonna go to text and we're gonna add the birth dates, for example. Whoops. 10, 18, 68. You're going to size it up. You're going to go to object. You're going to go to text font. Pick out your font. Object. Align horizontally. There's the first one. You want to do it now the opposite. You want to do it gray with an object with a text outline. Of a red to enhance it. You see how we threw out the color that way. I hope you guys like what you're seeing. It's very easy to make. Uh, we're gonna hit one more birthday in there. We'll go to my next brother who is 4 23 65. Object, text font, pick your font size it. Now how do I know these are both going to be the same size? This one is a 0.29 so I'm going to make this one a 0.29 and now they'll be both the same size. Object, align horizontally, text fill, gray, apply, object, text outline, would go in a red and you would simply proceed going on, whoops, And you'll simply proceed. I'm just going to fix that gray to match the other one. It was a little darker. There we go. And you're going to proceed with the rest of your dates going down. So once that's done, we're going to hit the last two. Object, text font. That would be 5, 29, 59. Going to pull it in. 
in over object. Always pick the font first. Text font, done. Size, object, align horizontally. My color, dark gray, apply. Object, text outline. Thickness, always a number two to a number three. Red, apply. Okay. And basically we'll hit the last one up, text, 12, 14, 57. Gonna bring it down, object, text font, whoops, excuse me, object, text font, got it. My size, object, align horizontally. My color is my gray, apply. My object, my text outline is a number two, which is a red, and I'm ready to go. That is finished. Now, if you wanted to arc this right here, you would go object and go to text envelope. And that right there has your arcing tool. See how you can arc the dad? Object, text envelope, bridge bottom. See how it's changing all my lettering? So I'm gonna undo it and undo it. And there it is. So you can always fix what you don't like. I'm just gonna go over here and go object, align horizontally, print, okay, okay. And that is all finished, guys. Click here to print. We're simply gonna follow our path. Ceramic, text print R, high quality. Color is a graphic, and I print it out. You highlight each box, Pam. Jason, if you wanna come in to hang out, no appointment. Just come on in. I love having you guys in. Tommy, what's up? You make them the same size, Pam? By highlighting the box and looking in the corner right here, it's a .29. Then you're simply gonna take this and you're gonna drag it to be the same size as the other one. Go object, align horizontally, and that's how we got them all centered. Okay? I hope that helped you. Now guys, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trim my image. It's a lot easier to work with with a smaller image like this when they're trimmed. So I'm gonna trim it down on the top and bottom, leaving about an eighth of an inch to a tenth of an inch. And I'm always gonna leave my sides at about a quarter inch border, like so. That's easy to hold my heat tape. That's what my transfer is going to look like to go on that beer stein. Come on over, we'll get that done for you. Yes, they do, Kim, and don't be sorry. Don't ever be sorry, Kim. You know I'll always help every step of the way, no matter what, no matter where. You're not the only one, Kim. Okay, so we have our white patch mug. I'm gonna pull the camera back a little for you so you can get a better view. I put my two pieces of heat tape on and I'm simply carefully gonna go like this and I'm gonna line up my whole patch right into the designated area. And remember what's cool is it's a clear, it's a clear mug so you can actually look through it when lining it up. Give me one second and I'll show you exactly what I mean. See, by it being clear, you can look through and see the whole image to make sure everything is inside. 
I'm gonna insert that right into the mug press, like so. I'm still set at the same time. My 350, 380 for my 30 second countdown. That is correct. That is correct. Thank you, Jason. Look at the temperature on that one. Look how low it went. We started at 350. We are at 313, and this is where everybody starts getting nervous. Michael, why is it going down? Poor conductors of heat. It's pretty much at its cold point. It's going to go up to 380 and do its countdown. So while that's doing that, guys, let's prep our last beer stein for the evening, which is the ceramic, but it has porcelain in it. Remember that, what I keep saying. I said it about three times this evening to you that this one has porcelain in it. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna warm this up and I'm gonna check my measurements. I'm probably looking at about a seven inch round and because of the bevel and taper, about a three inch high image on this mug. Okay, you don't wanna go too big and remember this has porcelain. And I keep saying that to you and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Let's design an image for that beautiful mug while the other one is cooking. Okay, I hope that view is good for you tonight. Gonna put up that product link for you guys once again. Got it. So we're gonna go into Creative Studio just going to lay one more of those out. I really like that print. Might bring that over to my brother. So that would be done. Let's go to select all. Let's go to object delete. Let's go to product. And let's type in beer. And... Here is our 22 ounce beer mug. It's telling me I can use the mug size paper, which is the larger one. I'm simply gonna take out my smaller paper out of my machine. area. I'm just going to grab an image out right now, guys. Just pull something out instead of searching and designing. Let's just find something we have in here. Something pretty with some color that's going to pop. No photos. Our mug press is done. Let's go over and take a look and see what happened over here. Take that off. When scratching, remember what I tell you, scratch on the paper. Off. Bam! There you go. Okay, guys, you like that one, huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that a lot. 
We're going to go back over. Set you guys up. Got it. Let's get a cool logo to put in there. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna make that about three inches high. Perfect. Print. Okay. Okay. Click here to print. Now. Ceramic glass, text print art, auto tray select, mirror image, high quality color graphic print. You saw that little path we followed. Very simple and easy. Now guys, if you recall about seven times or eight times tonight, I said to you the last mug we're making has porcelain in it. Does anybody know what that means? That means I'm gonna push the mode button three times and I'm gonna set my timer to 90 seconds. Ceramic is a poor conductor of heat. Porcelain is even worse. That's why the ceramic ornaments take so long. They contain porcelain in them. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beer stein over here and I'm going to line it up. Make sure I got everything I want going inside my sign. I noticed I need to trim my paper just a little just to make it more comforting. Okay, I trimmed my image down. I'm gonna take two pieces of heat tape. I'm gonna put them right on. I'm gonna line it up into the center point of my, of my drinkable. I'm gonna push it firmly down. Feel for any air gaps, none. Put it in. Medium to heavy pressure. I'm going to close it and lock it down. Now, if you thought the glass went down, look how fast the porcelain is going down. Look at the timer going down. Yes, Carol, the whole video will be in our section uh, for tonight, as all the videos are. Look, the temperature is going right down. Guys, this is our company page at sublimation101.com. We do have our corporate headquarters in Branchburg, New Jersey, with the industry's largest training facilities. Everything, all of our videos are free. If you go to the video section on the page that you're on right now, there's over 200 videos, all labeled. No YouTube, no getting paid, Michael, 50 cents for watch this ad. I don't do that kind of business. That's Schnorra business. I'm a mensch. It's free. Okay? So, any questions while that mug is cooking? Very easy, huh, guys? Very simple. You guys can come into this office anytime. Call us. You want to come in, make an appointment. If you want to see Michael, Scotty, Anjanine, Martha, whoever you're here to see, just call up, make an appointment, tell us you're coming in. If you're in the area, stop in. <laughs> Chances are we'll buy... If you never had my white pizza with spinach and garlic, you're in for a treat. And those of you that have had it at the open house know how good it is. Okay? Any questions while that mug is cooking? I'm good, but I'm not that good. Ah, Jason, you like that spinach garlic pizza. Feelings mutual, bro. That's right, you don't like me. You love me, Mazuzi. It's my brother Mazuzi out there. I'm the outcast. Mazuzi, calm down, okay? Go to temple, relax. Oh, you're gonna try that pizza. You are gonna try that pizza.
So, no questions yet tonight while that's cooking? We're on the countdown already, guys. Well, Virginia Lewis, guess what I'm having tomorrow night for dinner? My last chicken pot pie. Spinach and garlic on white pizza. Thank you, Jason. Oh, Virginia, you're teasing the poop out of me. Thank you. That's right, Jason. You know that pizza. No, bulls. I got offices and desks dying to be filled and people to be educated, bro. Only the best. Only the best we have. Emily, stop. Leave him alone. Him and Mr. Rourke are hanging out in Fantasy Island. Yes, they do make pizza that's gluten-free, and I will order that for you. When I request, and everybody that knows, I always say, any dietary restrictions, allergic, I can't have it, tell me now or forever hold your peace. So, oh, we're finished. Now remember, this is the not the hardest, but this mug, I get people that don't realize you have to bake the 90 seconds for the porcelain. See how hot that comes out? I'm holding it by the handle, scratching the tape on the paper so I don't scratch the porcelain, the white, the coating. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Talk to me. Talk to me out there in viewer land. What's up? You want some of that? You want some of that? Here you go. Here you go. You want some of that? Look at that, baby. What's up? That's right. I'll teach you everything. I'll show you sublimation like you've never seen it before. Virginia Lewis, that's yours when you come here, hon. Come on, Emily. Look at that, baby. Look at that color. What's up? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, guys, well, it's that time of the night to say goodbye. <laughs> Give yourselves a hand for hanging out. You like those mugs we made tonight, huh? Yeah, let me give you a recap. Let me give you a little recap of those mugs. I'll show you one more time. One more time by the village gate. Oh, Victor, thank you. I can't wait to meet you, Victor. Thank you for the great phone call too, Victor. Thank you. Victor, hopefully you'll be down here. There they go, guys. There you go. All right, guys, I'm going to thank you so much. I'm going to end the show this evening with a stop the bomb, hug your mom, keep on sublimating. Always talked about because they like to scream and shout.
because they don't know what to talk about. Sublimation. Visit us at sublimation101.com. Come on into 191 Chambersbrook Road, Branchburg, New Jersey. We'll sub you up real good. Stop the bomb, hug your mom, and keep on sublimating. It's Michael Kaminsky, sublimation101.com. I'm out. Time to use those beer steins.